Welcome back to another technical analysis training video. We're currently looking at common indicators used in technical analysis. And in this video, we're going to look at Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands are this indicator that I have on my screen. They are three bands, two outer bands, and a mid or center band. And they are used to identify the volatility that is in the market. The way the Bollinger Band works is when the outer bands are close together, it means there's very little volatility in the market. That price is quiet. As these bands expand, there is greater volatility in the market. And you'll see our, soon after this expansion, there's quite a big movement in price. Look at the size of this. Look at the space between these bands and the movement of price that is occurring. So how can we use Bollinger Bands in our trading? Well, first of all, we can use them to see how volatile the markets are. Another way we can use Bollinger Bands is by using the Bollinger Squeeze technique. Now what the Bollinger Squeeze is, is when the Bollinger Bands tighten and squeeze together, there could be a huge movement about to take place in the market. So as these bands tighten, you'll see we have this bearish candle that closes past this outer band and then price falls hev heavily on the downside. Once again, these bands tighten. They get tighter. This time we have a bullish candle close past the upper outer band and price strongly moves on the upside. Another way Bollinger Bands can be used in trading is by using the trading principle that price always returns to the mid or central Bollinger Band. If we look at this big move on the downside, price reaches the central Bollinger Band and then moves on the downside once again. With this Bollinger Squeeze where price moved strongly on the upside, price soon returned to this mid band right here. Now to compare volatility in the market, if we look at how wide these bands are, in the later part of December, we have nice wide bands very rarely get tight and look at the the movement in these few days price is really trending if we then compare those bands to these bands in the beginning of January which are staying at a fairly close distance to each other you'll see that price movement has not been as great the volatility 
is a lot less.